every day on this vlog I'm trying to post a video from our daily lives and the worst thing that can happen is to start falling behind a few days ago we came back from Poland and during the stay in Poland there was so much happening every day that I started falling behind again and when that happened before a few months ago I promised myself it would never happen again but life steps in and sometimes I just can't help it I have to sleep sometimes even though I don't sleep much so instead of trying to frantically catch up and post one video from every single day for the past week I'm simply going to try and bring things up to speed by comprising a few episodes into one something I have never done before but it's also because sometimes there are days in everybody's life that are just not that interesting and I don't want to force a video and make it out of nothing and try to make it interesting I'd rather post interesting videos when interesting stuff happens so let me just briefly go over a few days of our lives that took place after the episode that we named strange things for an American person in Poland that episode was shot on uh, Sunday January 29th Monday January 30th was the day when the lack of sleep finally caught up with me and I simply passed out in the afternoon and I almost didn't shoot a vlog at all this is what I recorded that day as the Sun is creating this beautiful sunset that I will show you in just a moment we're leaving yet for another trip I wish we're not leaving for a trip we're just going to a photo shoot but the sunset part was true take a look I have to tell you guys about something weird that's been happening to me ever since we came back from Poland I went to Poland five or six times since 2009 every single time I came back going there there's always a big jet lag problem two days sometimes three cut out of my life cannot force myself to switch to the European clock six hour difference in the order of the day but coming back here I never had an issue never ever before I just get out of the plane and I'm immediately back on US time no problem at all right now I don't know what's going on but I'm on a really weird clock yesterday what time did I go to bed 6 p.m. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> around 5 6 p.m. I woke up at 10 got up after I woke you up you woke me up thank you got up did not sleep until 6 a.m. went to bed for one hour took Sheridan to school and I've been up ever since we just we had a nap for like one hour now I don't know what's going on look at this sunset again then there was Tuesday the day when we learned more about dog training good morning friends it's Tuesday January 30th and we are going somewhere I'll explain in a moment the good news is all right good news is I think I have switched back to US time the bad news is yesterday you slept through the fall the bad news is yesterday I pretty much slept through the vlog <laughs> yes yesterday we went to bed so early it basically hasn't happened to me in a very long time and we slept all the way through till like 7 a.m. all right I lied we're not going really anywhere I mean when I say we are going somewhere on the vlog it means going to a place that's fun and having a cool trip this is just going to a hospital again Blani will explain why but maybe I didn't lie I just said the alternative fact <laughs> why are we here today Blani? to get another infusion David of what? 
Perceptin and Pergetta. And why do you still have to do those for those for those who are not familiar? Why do you still have to do those? Because with her two positive breast cancer, I will have to have this for as long as they work every three weeks for the rest of my life. Why? Because they target the breast cancer and keep it at bay. Hopefully. So basically those two drugs are used to keep the cancer from growing. And possibly shrink it even further. If there's still little, I mean, there's obviously still stray cells because... But to be completely Ooh. clear, it's not chemo, right? It's not chemo right now. Chemotherapy targets every fast-growing cell, and this specifically targets the genetic markers of my cancer. So there we are. Hospital visit number 75. That was Blani completely asleep during the infusion of the drugs. It's the Benadryl that puts you out, right? Mm -hmm. The Benadryl is necessary for uh, the whole mixture to not make her sick during the infusion. I have something curious to show you guys today. Here I'll try to illustrate the problem of what this is all about. Just bear with me. This is the dog Murray who I think is the igniter of all those issues that uh, the next few minutes of this vlog are going to be about. Here's what happens as soon as I... Well, Murray has a problem with machines. This has been going on for ever since we've moved in here. If there's a lawnmower outside or if there's a coffee grinder or a blender operating in the house, Murray goes nuts. So he figured that as soon as I open the cabinet where the coffee comes from and put it in the grinder later, he needs to bark. So here's what happens. Just watch. I think that illustrates the problem well. Uh, the same thing happens if someone touches and makes the balloons move the very balloons that Blani received for her return trip from hospital in the beginning of this month. We've been trying all possible approaches. We've been, of course, the natural instinct is to simply raise your voice at the dog and tell him to stop barking. And then we tried the love approach, which, uh, you know, is distracting Murray with basically cuddling him and being really nice and telling him to not do that. Uh, all of them seem to work a tiny little bit, but we're not really getting anywhere far with this. Now, a few days ago, when we were in Poland, Mercedes, Mercedes, as you all know, if you watch the previous episodes of this vlog, has been taking care of the dogs. She obviously is gifted she did something incredible watch this little video uh, that she sent us while we were in Poland of Murray not reacting to the balloons at all goodbye the remaining two are honestly not much better. I think they have a crowd mentality. Once the insanity starts, everybody's barking, including me. <laughs> so our goal is to get this under control and hopefully Mercedes can shed some light on the problem later today. So Mercedes, the magic dog whisperer is here. What is the secret? <laughs> Uh, finding what motivates your dogs and using that basically as leverage, coercion, whatever you want to call it. And in this case, you it's, told me already... Yeah, and your dogs are motivated by food. <laughs> Definitely by food. So, one more question. Is it true that dog training is just as much about training the owner as it is about training the dogs? Or even more about training the owner? I would say more about training the owners. It's a lot harder to convince somebody to change their habits. Or for 
anyone to tell somebody else that, hey, you're doing something wrong or <laughs> like what you're doing is influencing uh, like the behaviors that they don't want. So, so I would say it's, it's more training the owners to see it a little bit differently, but being gentle while doing so. So this was all, <laughs> this was all my fault. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> After that came Wednesday, February 1st. That was my birthday. This was the day when Vlani took the vlog on herself and she vlogged the entire day, giving me a little bit of a break. So we're gonna post that as a separate episode because it was Vlani's full day vlogging effort, which was absolutely awesome. And it deserves to be a separate episode. So it's gonna be the next video after this. After my birthday was uh, the Groundhog Day, February 2nd. We did watch the Groundhog Day movie in the evening of that day. But here is a brief reconciliation of what else happened that day. Good morning, guys. It's a new day, uh, February 2nd, and your regular host, David M, is back. For that trip in Vegas, uh, Blonnie wanted to have longer hair than me, so I'm gonna shave my head right now. Let's do it. Now, let's add the pink glasses. This is the new badass look for 2017 Vegas <laughs> trip, so that Blonnie doesn't get to be the only badass person in Vegas. It's really a beautiful day here today, guys. Sunny and nice around 40 degrees, 45 maybe. Not really winter weather at all, but I kind of enjoy it, as long as it's not wet. It's time for us to go pick up crazy and pick up some water for the house. Do you drink tap water or some other kind of water in your area and why? Why yes or why not? And why do you drink the type of weather you do? And do you think it really matters? Look at how pleasant this day is. I predict, I predict no winter this year. It's February. Well, the groundhog. Almost groundhog day. It is groundhog's day. No, it's February the 4th. They groundhog did it. day. Huh? It's the second, not the fourth? The Groundhog Day? I thought it was the fourth. When is Groundhog... Uh, when is Groundhog's Day? I found some information about here. Groundhog's Day. And he Take saw a look. his shadow and he went back in the hole. Call Are you day. serious? Yeah, you missed it. Today is Groundhog's Day? Yes. I thought it was the February, February the fourth. So since I've never seen that movie... We I'm have to watch it today. Okay. Groundhog Day, one of my favorite movies of all time. Bill Murray. The problem that I have with water is the tap water could be very good in some places. You're at the mercy of the township to actually do a good job purifying the water. And look at Flint, Michigan. They didn't do a great job of that water and it's too late for all of those people who drank all that contaminated water. And I told you I don't believe that the water at Langolan was very good either where I drank and drank and drank water only. But then you buy bottled water and it's in this plastic container that could be leaching all of these other chemicals into it. Like you don't know if the water was in the hot sun or how it was stored all this time. How long was it in that bottle of plastic? I don't know what to do. I don't get to check it off anymore. God, what was that? What? Hi, crazy. Hi. Oh, oh. So this is what we now do for water and it's because we live at times where you really don't know whom and what to trust and with Blonnie's experience once bitten twice shy Those were the three days that I kind of wanted to bring in together into one episode instead of splitting them into a little bit of a forced episodes that weren't really quite that interesting. 
stay with us guys I hope you enjoyed this little compilation please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and we will see you very shortly what's up Ludo? are you listening to your brother or are you listening to me now I think I can create some following because I have very distinctive style, you know, don't you think?